Welcome. Today you will learn about how to calculate um, basic statistics along a certain axis in the NumPy array. So for example, suppose you have this two-dimensional NumPy array here. Um, the NumPy array has two axes. Uh, called, the first axis is called axis 0, the second axis is called axis 1. So we have the rows and the columns. Rows are axis 0, columns are axis 1. And um, yeah, we have these nine values and now suppose we want to calculate the average along a certain axis. So not the average of the elements in the NumPy array, like uh, adding all the values in the NumPy array here, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 9. But we want to calculate the average along a certain axis. And now so what does it, this mean? Um, suppose we want to calculate the average along the axis 1. This means that we calculate the average among those three values, um, among this, those values in this row. Because basically um, along axis 1 means that we aggregate all the values all, uh, in axis 1 to one average value. So if we calculate 1 plus 5 plus 3, uh, we have 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the average along the axis, the first value would be 3. Um, and we can, we can do this, of course, for uh, multiple NumPy functions, like the variance uh, function, the standard deviations, and many more. Um, okay, now I quickly show you how to do this in, uh, um, in the NumPy code. So first we import the NumPy um, package. Now suppose we have the, uh, this NumPy array, from pre uh, which I have shown you previously. Um, with the values 135, 111, 0, 2, 4. And now we want to calculate the average um, of this NumPy array. If we, if we uh, want to calculate the basic average, then we would call the np.average function on the array. And you can see the result should be 2, because we just add, add together all these values in this NumPy array divided by 9. But we want to calculate the average along an axis and now we can use the axis keyword and this 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 keyword is very important for many different functions in numpy so you should really understand this concept of the axis and we want to calculate the, the um, um, average along this axis so which means that basically axis 1 will be dropped to a single value and if you if you can if you calculate the result we have 3 1 and 2 float, floating point values, so 3, 1 and 2 are also the result of our uh, desired um, um, average computation. Okay, um, so then basically we can do the, the, exactly the same thing for, as I, as I uh, told you previously, the, the same thing for variance for example and for standard deviation. So we just change the names and you can see, yeah, um, this one is the square root of this one, so we should we can just trust NumPy to calculate the values correctly. Okay, so that's already it. Um, if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next video.